Well, hello everybody. Gonna do a little shoot today. Gonna bring you guys along. Um, it's a little bit breezy today. The wind's not terrible. I got this new microphone. I hope I've got it set up right, and I hope that the audio is a little bit better. So we're gonna give her a shot today. But I got a really neat gun. I'm excited about today. This is a GSG 1911. It also says ATI on it. So I don't know what kind of a marketing deal they got going, but uh, German sport guns. Right on the box it says made in Germany. Of course, you know German. German manufacturing is known for extremely high quality and I would say this gun lives up to this. What's interesting about this gun is the price point. It's about the mid $300 range is what these are selling for brand new. Um, boy, for 300 bucks it comes with a lot of neat things. Of course, got the skeletonized, skeletonized hammer, um, a little extended beaver tail grip on it, it's got ambidextrous safety controls on it, and the sights, I'm not sure how well you guys can see it, are almost like glowing the dart glow-in-the-dark like luminescent type sights for $300 I'm saying this gun is an extremely good value you know I know a lot of the uh, standard 1911s you can put conversion kits in them and I was looking at doing that one time and the last time I looked they was over $300 just for the conversion kit so I think this is a, a great value for the price point um, the feel and the fit and finish of this gun just feels like a, a very quality 1911 um, what's interesting about it so this is the mag for it and this is like a cast aluminum this baby has got some heft to it so i don't know this gun is very interesting to me um like i say for the mag it's not like a stamped steel it's it's a cast i'm I, i'm not sure i'm calling it aluminum maybe some other type of alloy but uh yeah just the fit and the feel of this gun is incredible. And I just can't get over the price point with it. So anyway, we're gonna do some shooting on paper with it today. Got two different types of ammo. Of course, the old standby, CCI Mini Mags. You know, I've gotten into some of these smaller guns. Hopefully you guys have uh, seen my Ruger SR22 and the Walther PPK22. And these Mini Mags seem to be the go-to ammo for these autos. I'm not sure what this guy will do. So I've got this. Uh, mini mags, these are the 40 grainers, hollow point or uh, round nose, sorry, not hollow points. And then uh, these are just the value pack um, 36 grain hollow points. I'm curious to see how these guys will cycle in this gun. Um, I think it cycles very well, but anyway, that's the two ammo we're going to try today. We'll do some shooting on paper and see how it does. Hey okay, guys, here we go. The first three shots we're going to take is with the CCI mini mags. All right, you guys can see the uh, slide held back. It is just, I don't know, I'm kind of amazed with this little gun. I, and, and maybe people that are familiar with these, but for the heft and the beef that this gun feels like to cycle as well as it does with 22s, it's kind of amazing to me. I know to rack the slide, boy, there's not much spring tension there. It's just, I mean, shoot, I can do it with one finger. It's, it's simple, easy. But uh, what's interesting is the barrel configuration too. It almost looks like a threaded barrel. I am not sure the engineering behind that, but anyway, it seems to work. So we're going to walk up and check the target. Before we do, I just want to take a minute to tell everybody thanks for subscribing. We've had a little bit of growth the last few weeks. We've hit the thousand subscriber mark, so I'm really excited about that. But uh, anyway, just want to tell everybody thanks for that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Let's walk up and see what the target looks like. All right, guys. Well, we've got three shots on paper. Hard to see the little 22 shells, but one, two three Let's see what the tape measure says that's under about two and a half inches well about right at two and a half inches hopefully you guys can see that but uh not a fantastic group but acceptable by anybody's standards we'll go ahead and mark those All right, guys, we're going to take three more shots. We're going to use those federal uh, 36 screen hollow points out of the bulk packs. Um, you know, as everybody knows that every gun can be a little bit particular toward ammo. And it seems like that these little 22s are a little bit more so than that. I don't have a ton of experience with them. I've kind of been on the 22 run lately, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how these, uh, these what we're going to call cheaper ammo. You know, I've had great luck with those in a lot of different guns, but uh, we'll see how it does today.
All right, guys, well, I want to take just a minute and talk about the trigger on this guy. This trigger feels just like a very, very quality 1911 trigger, which 1911s are famous for having great triggers. Boy, this guy does not disappoint. Um, I'm just going to pull the trigger. See how there's a very, very small amount of take up, and the trigger is just super short and crisp, and the reset is very short. Hopefully you guys can see that, but man, th this is just a quality, quality made gun in my opinion. Let's walk up and see what the uh, groups look like. All right, guys, well, we talked about how these little autos like those CCI mini mags. No exception here. So here's one, right at the top of the paper, two, three. Let's see what the tape meter says. So that, hopefully you guys can see that, is about five inches, slightly over five inches. Um, you know, to me, we're borderline not acceptable on that. We'll go ahead and mark these. So this one's CCI. CCI. And this one's CCI. And those others are the Federals. All right, well, we're gonna shoot one more three-shot group with those CCI Mini Mags. It's hard for me to say that we know what the gun's gonna do with just one three-shot group. So we're gonna try another one, see if it'll tighten up any. All right, let's walk up and have a look. All right, guys, uh, here's the next three shot of CCIs. So here's one, two, three. Kind of interesting that the pattern was almost the same. I have one high and then these two down here on both of the three shot groups of the CCI Mini Max. Still prefers those over the Federals. All right, guys, well, I think we're monkeying around on the paper long enough. We're gonna just have some fun shooting down range with some steel. You know, I just can't get over how good this gun feels, the, the trigger, the fit and finish. I'm not sure how many rounds this has got in. This is a good friend of mine who let me use for the video today. But uh, I think the, the thing about this guy is if, if someone is real serious about 1911s, doing some competition work or whatever, boy, this, this is a perfect training tool. Um, you know, the accuracy wasn't spectacular with it, but it doesn't need to be. Um, it's good enough. I really like the point of impact. I am a six o'clock sight hold on these guns and that's right where this one's at i mean it's shooting slightly to the right but heck not not even i don't think enough to even worry about so i don't know i just really like this gun and like i say if someone is is truly affectionate about 1911s how could you go wrong with something like this that has the same fit feel as the uh, full-size gun but you can shoot it in 22 so we're going to do some shooting at the steel and see if we can hit anything here we go Well, that was too quick emptying that mag. We better grab another mag. Very interesting. One malfunction, the first one of the day. Huh, just one did not feed. I'm not sure what happened. Was interesting wasn't it um by the way that was the federal bolt pack ammo not the cci mini mags the reason i'm just ringing steel with it is i have more of them i don't have a lot of ccis you know on my shelf and i got a few thousand of those federal packs so anyway i think we're gonna wrap it up for today um like i say if a guy's interested in a 22 and a 1911 platform this gsg is a pretty fine built weapon as far as quality fit finish trigger all of that so anyway I want to thank everybody for subscribing uh, thanks for watching please hit the like